Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, this video will be very useful to the aspirants who are preparing for the Assistant Professor of English exam to be conducted by TRB. In this video, let me discuss the nuances of essay writing and how to write an essay, what are the parts of the essay. I have discussed the sample essay under the title Chaucer as the father of English literature. This particular topic is very useful for unit one of this syllabus. What are the parts of the essay? So first you have to understand the structure of the essay. If you take the structure of the essay, it, it will have an introduction, right? So it will have an introduction. Then uh, it will have a body of the essay and conclusion. So these are the three parts in any essay. So in uh, introduction, normally what you will have. So in introduction, you will have uh, the author's name and you will justify the title in the very first uh, line itself. Then if required, then you will add uh, the author details and some other details. That is the introduction. What is discussed in this essay that should be there then uh, body of the essay body of the essay has got different parts so it is divided into different paragraphs each paragraph should have a topical sentence so this is the main part actually whatever may be the essay you write so you will identify four or five points so each paragraph should discuss one important idea so that one important idea should be condensed in or conveyed in one particular line so that line is called topical sentence in a paragraph the rest of the paragraph should complement or should add more information about the topical sentence so that the structure will be good then finally so you will relate again now with the topic and you will give a fair conclusion so this is the structure of the any essay and here so when you get the topic so naturally you will choose the topic uh, that is uh, already familiar to you or at least slightly you have some idea about it so instead of uh, straight away writing there is a technique called brainstorming so what is brainstorming so managing time in uh, exam hall is more important so what should be the length of the essay? So in the syllabus, it is not given clearly. But if my assumption is right, so before some 8, 10 years, when the descriptive answer was there for net examination, they used to give a small booklet in which there will be space for writing the answer. So maximum two pages will be allotted. So that means between 250 and uh, 300 words. So that is the maximum length so in brainstorming technique what you can do so whatever important ideas that comes to your mind about that particular topic you just uh, write down scribble something so then uh, you prioritize the topic so there are people who use side headings there are people without side headings they write so both are acceptable uh, forms only so up to, that is up to you at the same time if you use the brainstorming technique, so noting down some points, then organize and write, then your essay will be complete. So what I have discussed so far here, so what is the structure of the essay? What is the length of the essay? So how you can approach the topic with the brainstorming method, then the organization of the essay, introduction, body of the essay, paragraphs, then conclusion, then there should you should use appropriate uh, cohesive markers that is a uh, link words to link sentences and paragraphs now let me give you one sample this is the sample essay so the question is can chaucer be rightfully called the father of english uh, literature so this is the topic uh, preferred. Just uh, look at that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
so exactly 320 words are there in this essay so you can write a little bit less now let's analyze that so so who gave that term that is a father of English literature that should be arrived at look at the first sentence John Dryden in the preface of his book fables ancient and modern calls Chaucer as the father of English poetry look at that here uh, what was asked was father of English literature but uh, what is given here is so the given by John Dryden is father of English poetry so look at the next sentence Chaucer's contributions to English language and uh, literature are profound so are profound so naturally it uh, triggered the course of literary development in England hence it is appropriate to call Chaucer as the father of English literature so what we have done in the first paragraph so what is the origin of that term how he can be called now uh, here each paragraph look at that so firstly secondly moreover furthermore so that means four important ideas one by one are discussed so these words are called as cohesive markers or link words now firstly Chaucer played a crucial role in the popularizing the use of uh, Middle English in literature. So this is the topical sentence. So Chaucer played a crucial role in popularizing the use of Middle English. How before his time English literature was primarily written in Old English or Latin. It had limited access accessibility to smaller audience. Chaucer's decision to write in Middle English in the vernacular language of the common people revolutionized the literary landscape by making uh, literature more inclusive so here this particular statement so topical sentence has been supported by the rest of the sentences so like that all uh, paragraphs have one particular uh, idea all uh, one particular topical as uh, statement so that is being supported then finally it goes uh, like so one by one uh, the topics are going so a fitting conclusion is given look at the conclusion so in conclusion Chaucer's contribution to English literature and his use of middle English justify that he is not only the father of English poetry but also the father of English literature so there is a link between the first uh, paragraph and the last paragraph I won't say this is the best essay but I would say this can be considered as a model so how you will you can develop this kind of uh, uh, language style and uh, accuracy of recording content you should study so based on the lessons uh, you go through or material go through but it is very important that you write the essay in a very precise way so that you will save a lot of time and you can impress the examiners dear friends so like this in our online course we give 100 different samples 10 samples for each unit in addition to that we have identified some 20 30 topics for each uh, unit so after studying the video lessons and uh, taking notes if you make an attempt to write essays and uh, learn certain things then whatever essay is asked you will develop the writing practice in the course of time you yourself would have written some hundred essays and you will compare those essays with the samples that you provide so that you will improve your uh, language and in the middle of the course we will analyze one of your essays and give feedback so that what are the areas to be concentrated will uh, give suggestion so if you improve like this definitely your performance in the examination will be better now if you feel joining the course Feel free to call us in the given number. Thank you. All the best.